some of the players on our team. <laughs> uh, this is Leo Claudio with Malice to it, and it's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest today one of the greatest pitchers in the National League. Has been ever since he told the mound for the first time. I'd like to welcome to our show from the New York Mets, Tom Seaver. Welcome, Tom. Well, Leo, thank you very much. I, um, I guess it's the first time I've ever talked to you, and it's indeed a pleasure. Well, it's my pleasure, Tommy, to have you as our guest here today. Tom, uh, first of all, uh, let's get one thing off the slate. You rec recently became a daddy. Congratulations. Yes, I sure did. We had a little lady about two and a, oh, about 16 days ago, a little eight-pound three girl and uh, three-ounce girl, and we're very excited. We've been married about five years, and it's our first baby, and uh, both mother and daughter are doing just fine, and it's, uh, it's going to be a new experience, and I'm sure a lot of fun for us. I'm sure she will be. And Tommy, you have a very lovely wife in Nancy, a tremendous girl. Thank you very much. We uh, we have a lovely home. We live in Connecticut, and uh, I have a I have a sister who lives up in the Boston area now. Moved up to Concord, I believe. Her husband's with uh, the Dunn Book Company, and uh, so they have. I think it may may have to change their allegiance from Mets fans to Red Sox fans pretty soon. <laughs> Except when Tom Seaver pitches. In the World Series, I think they might pull for us. I don't know. You never can tell. I'm sure they would. Tommy, you've been with the Mets now four full years, and you certainly have had a fantastic career. You've broken with 16 victories, 16 victories, 25 victories, and then 18. Those are tremendous years, Tom. Well, I've, I've hopefully what I'm trying for is to have a good, consistent career. I think I can pitch well for 10 more years, and... And uh, obviously, with the money that they're paying me now, and what the, my teammates think, and the, and the people think, I, I would be disappointed from now on if I don't uh, get real closer, win at least 20 games a year. I think, uh, I think I have the ability to do it. I think I have the strength, the stamina, and I think I have the stuff to do it. And that's what I'm going to try and do every time uh, that new season starts, is to get at least 20 wins. Tommy, anyone who follows baseball, all they have to do is take one gander at you, and they can tell that you're a, a tremendous competitor. Well, I enjoy baseball very much. I played it from time I was a little boy, of course, and uh, uh, I, the whole, our whole family was a competitive family and athletics, and uh, it just seemed to go hand in hand, and uh, I, I have a lot of self-pride, I think, when I pitch, because it, I, I find nothing else that gives me the satisfaction that pitching does, and that's why I strive to do so well. And you play as though you loved it. Oh, I love the game, and it's <laughs> a lot of fun for me. Yes, I don't doubt it. You certainly played in that fashion. Tommy, one of the most phenomenal things in baseball, one of the most phenomenal achievements, has to be the day that you struck out 19 batters. 19 is a lot of people, but 10 in a row is something else. Well, that was just one of those days that... Not one of those days. It's one of those rare, exceptional days that everything just seems to fall in place. And it was a, an afternoon game in, in, against uh, San Diego, and the shadows were just right, and my rhythm was just right. And I was hitting the spots, and I was throwing real hard. And it just, uh, it was like it was in a groove, like I guess when a golfer gets in a groove hitting golf shots, and you just can't miss. Well, every pitch I seemed to throw was going right where I wanted to with great velocity and good good breaking ball. And uh, I don't know how many days like, like that I'll have during my career, but it makes makes pitching very enjoyable. Tommy, that was an afternoon game? Yes, it was. A, I think it was a Tuesday afternoon or something like that. You strike out 19 in one game, 10 in a row in an afternoon. Imagine if you'd have had the shades of night to help you. Well, you never can tell. Uh, might have you, got 27. You no, know, you can't tell. I might have gotten 10. It's a funny <laughs> thing. If the, the stadium shadows in the afternoon may be a little bit more difficult than the, to hit under than the, than the good lighting that we have at Shea Stadium. It, it was just one of those times when the timing was right, the afternoon was right, and I was just right. Tell me the year you won 25, the Mets also won the world championship. It was a fantastic year. Uh, yeah, that must have been a busy year for you. Well, it was a, it was an outstanding year, really, and it was the most enjoyable year that, I, uh, of course, that I've ever had in the big leagues. And uh, played in the All Star Game and played in the World Series and done a lot and won 25 games and this and that and won the Cy Young Award and everything. But there's nothing that that can compare with that team effort of getting in and winning the World Series. That's that's the most uh, satisfying thing of, as far as being playing this game is being a member of a team that everybody contributes, participates, and, and uh, you can't get there you know, with, well, on just one person. It's a whole team effort, and we got to the World Series, and we got there by team effort, and it's, it's just it was a gratifying situation. And your New York Mets of 1969 certainly gave that team effort. There's no doubt about that. Tommy, did you have the good fortune of starting your major league career under the capable wings of Casey Stengel, or did you come after him? No, I was after Casey. Uh, Wes Westrom was the manager when I was here one year, and... Uh, and Gil came over the, my second year and, of course, has been here from there on. Tommy, Gil has done a tremendous job, hasn't he? He's done an outstanding job. He, he loves this game. He knows it front and backwards. He's helped me. He's, he's helped uh, a lot of the players on this team. He and his coaches are very good. Rube Walker is an outstanding pitching coach. 
Of course, Yogi is an outstanding coach. He'd have these men live and eat and sleep in uh, this game, and they love it, and they could do it 24 hours a day. Tommy Gill is much like yourself, one of the fine men in baseball today. I mean, he's got a million friends. Well, thank you. Uh, 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 Gil, that's, he's, he's an outstanding man, and I enjoy him playing for him very much. I don't think I, can, I would, could play for anybody else that I would enjoy it more. Yeah, I can imagine. Tommy, one more question. What do you think of the outlook, uh, or is the outlook, for the Mets for 1970? Well, uh, our team, uh, I think, is one of the four top teams in the National League, along with Pittsburgh, uh, Cincinnati, and Los Angeles. And, you know, uh, just like the Red Sox know that it takes uh, everything in one, one good year, everybody to have that good year to win it, uh, as as we proved in our year and the Red Sox proved in their year. It's a, if we get together and if some of our young kids come through and uh, uh, we play the way up to our potential and we play as a team and, and everybody has that, you know, plays that consistent baseball, then we're going to have just as good a chance as anybody else to win it. Tommy, come February 2nd, 1972, we in Manchester will be holding our 24th annual baseball dinner, which is recognized as the largest in the country. And I want to take this opportunity to extend to you an invitation to be with us as a guest of honor. Well, thank you. I hope so. I hope I'll be able to fit it in. I'll keep in touch with you all summer. Okay, very good. Very good. <laughs> thank you very much, Tommy. Tommy, I want to wish you and the, and the Mets that World Series championship again this year. Well, I hope so. It would be nice to get back there, and hopefully it uh, wouldn't, wouldn't be too bad if we played the Red Sox, would it? It certainly would be quite a series. Thanks a million, Tommy. This was an interview with Tom Seaver, the star right-handed pitcher of the New York Mets, and this brings us to the end of With Malice to it, and for today, until the next time, Leo Claudia, good day. Thanks a million, Tommy. You're welcome. Good luck to you. Thank you. I'll see you Brought to you by Poster Fix. At Poster Fix, we bring your vintage posters back to life. To learn more about Leo Cloutier's sports world, visit leocloutier.com.